It's one of my favorite little spots here in Maitland, Florida, and it got me thinking, there's probably a ton of little neighborhoods or little subdivisions of Orlando or outside that maybe you don't automatically think of if you're thinking of moving here, or maybe you already live here and you didn't know some of this existed. So today, I'm gonna to take you through five different areas that I think that need to be considered if you're moving to the area or within Central Florida. Stay tuned. So first, how are we gonna break down all of these different cities? Why are they some kind of things you should consider? We'll talk about the location, why you should move there, price points, average home style type and pricing and that sort of thing. And the first place we're gonna start is Maitland, Florida, right here. The average house here in Maitland is $592,000, which is definitely lower than the average price of Winter Park, which is right next door. We're here in Seminole County, and there's a lot of people that love Seminole County schools. There's lower taxes, lower a lot of things that would make living here a little bit less expensive than right down the road in Winter Park. But the proximity over there is fantastic. The average house was, sorry, the average, uh, oh, how, how do I want to say that, the average, so let's talk about real estate here in Maitland. The average age of a house is 1974. So you've got some older houses and actually I love it. There's charm kind of in some of these houses. You can see behind me, there's all these old trees. It just feels like something completely different than you would normally think about when you're thinking about Orlando. The average size of a house here is just under 2000 square feet. And so getting something under 600, almost 2000 square feet and have the option of a little bit larger lot. One of the reasons I love Maitland, Florida. If you've been to Gideon's over at East End Market, what about Domu? What about the Salty Donut? Or the Japanese Waffle Place? Or Winter Park Biscuit Company? If you have, then you've probably checked out Audubon Park. And you might not have ever left up and down Virginia here, but did you know that there's a neighborhood right around here with some of the coolest little houses in all of Central Florida? Located just outside of Baldwin Park, the average house price here is roughly $500,000. It's, av sorry, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say the average year built, but it is hard for me to say. And the average year built here is about 1974. So you've got a lot of single story, old bungalow style Florida houses, but many of them are being torn down with new houses built in its place. Because of the affordability and the proximity to Baldwin Park and Winter Park, this is a really great place to live. This is like the perfect juxtaposition for Audubon Park. You've got the brand new house next to the house built in the 60s. It's a very like Audubon Park and or really downtown Orlando lifestyle now. You've got a lot of these cool houses Gentrification, I guess, is what you would call it, but I think it's really cool to see the development. It's here the other day. It's really. What is it, donuts? Yeah, it's so good. What? We might have to redo the donut video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. New, so new, <laughs> new donuts, new coffee. Although this is lineage, I like lineage. They're uh, they're cold brews. We did the cold brew thing. And lineage was in there. Wasn't I know, it? I know. And at the, you ranked it. Uh, so they they were bottled at the time, and I hate the bottle. And so the fact that they put it in a cup, maybe, maybe they put it in a cup because of my review. Oh, you should ask. I should have asked. They get nervous when you pull up. Yeah, they do. Oh, Kim pulls a chair. <laughs> get in your stations. The next one I want to talk to you about that I actually never done a video before, crazy, is Hunter's Creek. And the reason why people love Hunter's Creek is really the location. In the 90s, it was like the number one neighborhood in all of America in regards to where people were moving and it was rated like the best place to live. And so the reason why people love it now is really the location, but it's also the price point. You can have an average sales price of 459, which is lower than the average price point in all of Orlando. The average year built was 1994. And for that, you're gonna get a house that's roughly 1900 square feet. So the proximity right off of 417 is kind of equidistant between Celebration and Lake Nona. And so if you're living in any of those areas, if you want an affordable house that's closer to the parks or closer to the airport, Hunter's Creek might be for you. Average your average home price. Get a couple practices in. The average year built for the area. The, the average age of the house is, and then yeah, back into the it, is only that's seven years old. Yeah, yeah. The number four area on our list today is Mineola. And I've been talking a lot about Mineola recently and for good reason. You've got Lake County, which is experiencing massive growth with Claremont right next to Mineola. But Mineola is right off the turnpike, so easy on, easy off. There's a lot of new construction options. There's also a lot of commercial stuff coming, which I'm very excited about. You've got the Crooked Cam Brewery, and they're gonna do a similar concept that they did in Plant Street Market in downtown Winter Garden. You've got Del Webb, which is creating a new neighborhood there, a 55 older community with one of the most insane amenities I've ever seen. We'll drop some photos here so you can know what I mean. And really just overall, you've got a newer house bigger 
Average size of the house is 2,400 square feet and average age of the house is roughly eight years. And so you've got a newer stock of homes for a really affordable price. Average sales price in Mineola right now is right around 500,000, which for the price per square foot, it's pretty good. The last one on our list today is Mount Dora, Florida. Now I've done videos on this in the past and yet it's not typically on the top 10 list of people moving to Orlando and what they automatically think. The average age of a house in Mount Dora is like 1995 and so roughly 20 years older or so, but you've got a lot of different options, both lakefront, the downtown area, you've got just a lot of cool things around there. And really the downtown area in Mount Dora is what draws so many people. It's this incredibly quintessential Florida downtown area with mom and pop shops everywhere, really nice restaurants and everything else in between. The average price there is actually the most affordable on our list today, which is 429, and that's including new construction and resale. And so there's a lot of different options if you're thinking Mount Dora. It's located in Lake County, so it's a little bit farther out from the theme parks if that's important to you. But in terms of a daily life, it's pretty cool. Finishing up my day in Baldwin Park, and it didn't make the list because so many of you guys love Baldwin Park and I do as well. The proximity in the downtown area and just kind of the newness of Baldwin Park, but still all the charm of an old area is pretty cool. So listen, if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in Central Florida, my team and I, we want to be your real estate resource of choice. Email me at info at or use the number in the description below. We'll see you guys on the next video.